this workshop sort of came from came from being in my third year and wanting to build a machine. Um, I knew I had certain certain manual skills, um, but it really it was it. Although I didn't like the machine I had made, although it was a it was a working machine, I didn't I didn't like the outcome. But in that in that period, I realised I realised the connection between the machines I was using and the possibilities of of working in steel and and all the mechanisms that suddenly, if not naively, had just just sort of dropped in my head. I'd realised that that you could you could make anything with these machines. I see myself primarily as an artist. Um, I would, in another life, I would, you know, I would be quite happy to be an engineer. But um, I guess I also think it's quite funny if you can make stuff that looks like and acts like engineering without being an engineer. I would say my principle is to certainly manage to do most of a piece of work, or the vast majority of it. Um, and even if I'm not doing it or outsourcing a certain part, for example, the casting, I can cast, but I, I don't have a large furnace here. So there's certain parts that you have to simply simply through certain certain access to tooling. There's there's several studios on on my floor which one one specialises in resin casting and plastics, um, and one one's also one also has metal working tools, um, and I think being able to share and use them and use their their knowledge or their their skills is um, is incredibly uh, rewarding. This is my sort of designing area. Um, here's where I, I here's where I draw things up, I trace things, and I um, at the moment this is currently these are the parts for the for the machine I'm making at the moment. These are all of the details of all of the sketches and ideas that I've got to. The work's called a day at the frontier. Um, it's a uh, it's a telescope made made from. Uh, I think it's 13 teleconverters, which are, are lens doublers. They, um, they double the, uh, the, focal, the focal length of your, um, of your camera. Um, so after 13, 13 of these, um, you, can, you can get a square, a 35 millimeter uh, rectangle for, of, the, of the image of, of space, which the edge of space is at um, 62 kilometers. It's called the command line. And that's the negotiated line between the atmosphere and and space. I have a certain penchant for certain materials. Um, I have a penchant for steel because of its general all-roundness and it, its strength, its mechanical strength, um, its ability to be machined to to specific diameters and and to certain tolerances. Well, I've I've built I've built this workshop, which is a is a, an engineering workshop and a studio crossover um, really to not well to build several works and and to have as a as a as a studio but it's also really it, it came to being from wanting to build one particular work which I'm working on at the moment and that I knew I had to have certain equipment for and the only way to realize that was to build a metal workshop and pretend to be an engineer. I'd, I'd been saving some money up and I kept, on, I kept on simply working at it and just saving, thinking, well, you know, I'll think of, I'll think of some good cause that I can spend it on. And, and then I thought, well, how much are those machines? It, it's, funny, it's funny when you, when you embark on a project as big as, as, big as say, this studio. Um, I don't think you. I don't think you quite realise. You sort of go through a shock afterwards. Later on, you buy you buy the machines, you buy the consumables. You know you know what you need to do, and you know how to how to do it. Um, but I think the sort of responsibility of of having uh, well about four tons. It's around about four tons of of machinery. Is quite is it sort of hits you later, I guess even though it seems, seems obvious.